Hello there. Tonight's brush is my Fader Premium Bore. We're going to set it over here where it's been soaking. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and the soak tonight is a cream. It's got us cool mint. This is a Lebanese shaving cream. It's very economical if you can find it. You can't find it in the States. Uh, this was gifted to me from a friend of mine in Canada. Uh, it's nasty slick. It's fantastic stuff. Uh, so we're gonna give that a shot. Let's move down. In the bowl tonight is one that my grandson made for me Let's throw some cream in there and go to town too much water in my brush I might have to Add a lot more cream, or actually, we'll have to start over. Yes, folks, it happens even to me sometimes. I and that's one of the things. Look, this came from Canada, and uh, I really, really like it, and I would not want to be without it, but. You just saw me. I got rid of that. It's not any good. Okay? It wasn't any good. Uh, you need to remember and understand that this is soap. It goes on your face so that you get a good shave. So you don't cut yourself and nick yourself, get a bunch of weepers, all that kind of stuff. Don't save it. Don't uh, skimp on it. Don't treat it like gold. And if you can't, if there's a soap out there and it's too expensive for you to do what I just did when you make a mistake with that soap, well then don't buy that soap. Buy something cheaper. Because this is about your shave. And if you want a good shave, You know, that's up to you. And uh, if you use a product that's either mediocre or <clears throat> you do something mediocre in your technique like I did that first time and uh, push your head, it's not the soap's fault. It's yours and mine. I've got a couple days growth. Lovely. And you saw that water. Guess what? It needs a little more. A lot more. There we go. That's better. Lovely. And a nice razor. Is my 5 8 shoulderless Wade and Butcher in 
color scales. Lovely razor. Dude. I just <laughs> I just refreshed this with an Asher. Oh man, that's lovely. It's lovely. The guy is wonderfully slick. The last shave I had, I shaved with this razor. And I thought it needed a refresh, and I'm thinking it probably didn't. The soap I used was not quite as slick as I like. I can't remember which soap it was. I didn't record that shave and uh. I'm trying that cross the grain with my chin to see how that works but uh, I have four or five soaps that <clears throat> are good soaps but they're not in my opinion Good straight razor soap. The problem is, is I can't seem to remember what they are until I put them on my face and start shaving them. And then I remember, yeah, that's one of those soaps I don't particularly care for with a the straight. They worked well early on when I started with the DE, but once I picked up a straight, they don't, in my opinion, provide the type of slickness that I want and need in a straight razor soap. And uh, the result was that little tiny little break in the skin. It's not really a cut. It didn't really bleed or, or weep or anything like that. It's just a tiny little break in the skin. And it was caused <coughs> by bad soap. Well, not bad soap, but bad soap for straight rays. All the soaps that I have are soaps that uh, that are good soaps. If the soap wasn't any good, I got rid of it. The problem with it is, is, is uh, some of them are good for DE and some of them are better for straight. And uh, I need to actually Mark them somehow so I know and understand. Look, 
out of these hoop. No difference. Just check it. I, I like to check every now and then. Normally I go straight down and then when I come up, I come up over the chin a bit and then I come back and go straight down again and uh, get a uh, BBS there pretty much probably 80% of the time. And that right there actually could use just a tiny bit of touch up. So not not on par with my normal routine beautiful uh so you know you just have to kind of try every now and then different things uh, and some parts of your face can be difficult and sometimes even if you do everything right and do the best the, the best technique you can for that particular area that best technique won't get it completely you you need to go back and do some cleanup there's nothing wrong with that either uh, I try to uh, organize my shave Understanding, you know, the way that my face, the hair grows on my face, stuff like that, so that I really don't need to do many clean up, much clean up, if any. But every now and then, you know, particularly if you're trying a different technique or a different way, uh, you might need to go back and clean it all up. So, but uh, I'm gonna finish off with Barbasol Pacific Rush, and in my opinion. Uh, it's a really close to what that scent right there is. The scent of that. And that's good. That uh, cream. So, alright. Thank you for watching. Bless you. I'll talk to you later.